Hey everybody, my name is Liddell Steiner. I'm here at Tillmore. I'm really excited to introduce you to the new Wizard Cedar line that we're bringing out. I'm really excited specifically because the Wizard Cedar is a vacuum planter designed specifically for small diversified vegetable growers, uh, specialty growers, flower growers, people who are looking to plant a wide range of seed sizes with one unit and to be able to use the precision of the vacuum to really help you singulate much better, uh, giving you much better success both in the planting process and the seed and thereafter. I'm gonna go over the wizard cedar here as it sits and give you a little bit of an introduction to what you might expect if you were to buy a wizard cedar and some of the features and benefits that it provides you and your farm. So first I wanna notice again that this is a vacuum cedar. Uh, what that means is by a vacuum, it's pulling uh, using a vacuum uh, of a pump that can either be driven on this system by a PTO or an electric uh, vacuum off of a 12 volt system. That's creating a pull of air against this plate and then these small seeds, um, well, we don't have a vacuum right now so we can't do that, but they will be sitting against that hole and pulled against in a vertical form as they spin around um, the placement of the seeds will spin around and then eventually once it gets to where the vacuum is no longer, it'll simply drop it into its placement, okay? So I'm gonna go into that more detail here shortly, but that's what the vacuum planter is doing in essence. Um, one of the things that I really like about this uh, wizard planter in of itself is the system that is designed to drive each unit with its own wheel, okay? So you're gonna notice behind this cover, which is really easy to remove, at least I think it is, all right, with no tools required, uh, we're able to pull that off and get into the chain and sprocket system, okay? And again, you're gonna notice um, how just well engineered this is by being able to change sprockets um, here. Okay, I can change out the sprockets both on the, the driven, the drive, and also the middle idler to give us a wide range of speed spacing. And the extra sprockets are gonna be right up uh, front there so they're always with the unit itself as you're traveling, okay? So once you change out the sprockets, um, and that all that information is available in the manual, uh, then we're gonna be able to tighten this chain with this uh, nice spring system, and there you go. We're able to kind of keep moving in the field um, with changing the speed of the rotation of the, the drive plate. Okay, so I'm gonna put that cover back on. Oh, wow, before I do that, I'm gonna turn it on so you can see it running itself, okay? So just kind of get a feel for that there. Um, very simple, very clean, and very easy. So as that ground is driving through, it's changing the speed of the plates on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna put this cover back on. Again, very simple, very well engineered. Now we're gonna be looking at the vacuum system itself. And this is the metering unit that, that I talked about earlier. It's a, while it maybe feels a little bit scary, it's really not that scary. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Um, the users can very quickly and easily take the part these springs, off these springs, pop off this plate, okay? So this plate comes off, it's got the different brushes and things like that. I don't need to go through all of that right now, um, but it is very well engineered again to help you get the singulation you need, okay? So once we get into this uh, vacuum part here, the plate that I showed you earlier slips onto here. Before we get to that, you need to observe this, this thing right here, okay? This right here is what's designed for seed singulation. So there's a lever on the back side, which you're notice gonna push that farther and closer towards the holes and farther away. So depending if you have larger seeds like a sunflower or a corn or a bean or a peanut, you might have it farther away. If you have a smaller seed like a beet or something like that, in a smaller hole, you're gonna move it closer. And what this really is doing is as this is spinning, that's gonna help you drop any doubles off so that you can help keep from getting doubles and triples potentially, okay? So that is, again, really easy to adjust. It's also really easy to remove. It's got a magnetic uh, back in it, so it almost, it holds against the plate very nicely. We can remove that and then we're back into taking off the plate. 
There are a wide number of different plates with different hole sizes and also hole spacings to give you different configurations. It's a very thin plate which allows it to hold it well against the seal on the back side. And you can see on the back side here there's the vacuum chamber um, which pulls the, the seat against, okay? So I'm going to put that back on uh, plate. Double and triple remover, and put this back on. Okay. And within a couple short seconds, or a couple seconds there, we've got that all back together, okay? So, oh, one last thing I, I forgot to mention on this side here is you can see this is where you can remove the excess seeds, okay? So, uh, if you are switching out between crop seeds, you can open that up and vacuum, uh, pull it out. Uh, there's also a vacuum available uh, by Wizard that allows you to s literally vacuum the seeds out if you'd like to choose that as an option. Okay, we're going to come now to the other side. I'm going to show you the system in operation. So I've got some sorghum or millet seed here, and you can put it in the hopper, okay, and... This hopper um, is really good for all these different sizes we have here, but there's also a 15 liter hopper, it's a little bit bigger, available that can be purchased as well, okay? So we're gonna run the seeds, and you're gonna look right in here. I'm gonna turn on the fan, okay? So as the... Um, See that first seed just came right up there, okay? So as it's coming through, you can see it's getting almost bumped off. If we would like to bump them off, which we're going to do that just for the effect, I'm going to move that closer, it's knocking them off, okay? Now, okay, we're bumping too many off. We're going to back this off, bring that out, okay? There you go. So that's how you can see how the vacuum planter works, allowing you to much better singulate seeds than a mechanical system where the seeds have to fit perfectly within the plate, and then if they don't fit perfectly, you might get doubles or you might get skips, and those are some of the limitations. Um, a few last things to note on the planter itself. Uh, it does have a shoe up here, up front. Uh, this shoe, you can be raised and lower it through this knob giving you different depths uh, depending on the crop that you're trying to plant, okay? There are also two series of planters, the D series and the F series. Uh, what I'm showing here is the F series. It's got one wheel on the back and basically it ties straight to the two inch bar up front. This is used often when you're staggering multiple and want to get a tighter row spacing. The F uh, D series is the more common one it's got two wheels, one in the back and one in the front. has a little bit more of an ability to float over the ground. Uh, and that's designed to do row spacing as close as 25 centimeters or 10 inches. I should also note that there is the option for a double disc opener. And more importantly, for some growers who are wanting more lines in each row, Wizard has a unique ability to be able to uh, set up a different shoe and different plates allowing you to drop up to three lines with each pass on each row unit. And that option's available, and we can help you understand better what that would look like if you're interested in that system. So that's a quick overview of the Wizard Cedar and the many of the little features and benefits of the Cedar that you might be interested in. Again, I'm really excited about this unit for us as Tillmore. Uh, it gives us lots more versatility than we've had before for uh, adapting to our tractors and other small diversified growers who are looking for better singulation, um, who are looking for more odd shaped seeds like sunflowers and pumpkins, um, or who want to do multiple sizes of seed, both large and small with one unit. So uh, if you have any questions, we're here to help. You can reach out to us here at Tillmore. We're more than happy to have a call with you. And uh, we do keep things in stock and ready to ship. Uh, and so check us out, Tillmore.com, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.